All right, well, let's go. Let's go. No more, no more lagging. Cool. How's lighting? Good, good. All right. Yes, it is 10, 12 right now. And I want to go ahead and start redesigning my site. Uh, yeah, so let me just go to my current site right now and tell you exactly why. All right, got my site loaded. Cool, that works. All right, so let me refresh real quick. All right, so as with all designers, we're all, you know, all trying to reinvent ourselves. We're always trying to see what new things we can do, what new things we can learn. And for me, um, I really want to make this more focused on my YouTube channel and my and my blog or what I call my rambles. So I want to I want to show more of my videos and my rambles. Uh, if you go to my website right now, it's like it's hard to navigate because I try to push the boundary. I try to do something different and put the navigation all the way on the right. And so uh, I wanted to do something techy, and it was based off of uh, this one thing uh, from The Martian. Like HUD, what I like to do is go to hudsandgooies.com, and it's this one blog about future sci-fi not real ui type of things but um let me look for martian real quick martian yeah and so i based off uh i based my site off of this right here i was really was re really inspired by it like i like the grid and like the small type and everything um but uh, it works for Hollywood, but it doesn't really work for a portfolio site. But I tried to make it work. So I want to change it up a bit. I want to do something different. And I saw this dribble shot uh, recently by Kulik Oleg. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. It's different. And maybe I can rebuild this design uh, inside of Webflow and uh, make it more like my own portfolio site. Okay, so I'm going to try to recreate this inside of Webflow and redesign my own site. So things I want to point out is that uh, this vlog right here, I want to see if I can make that. Uh, this, like, this goes to my latest vlog. So this will have the title some sort of description and then that'll go open up in a light block uh light box or, or something like that all right and then uh maybe somewhere else not sure where yet um it's going to be it's going to be my uh my blog my latest ramble or, or whatnot because i want to keep up with my own blog and yeah so let's let's just get to it all right now um now what i used to do in my previous tutorials i used to record it first then edit it and then uh upload it but this one what i want to do is just do it live so you so you can actually see no edits what i like to do inside of webflow and how i uh tackle some stuff on the spot and that's what i like to do i like to learn on the spot and uh, just like the my, my older tutorials, we're going to break it down in three things. We're going to do the breakdown, and then we're going to build it. And if there's any uh, interactions, I'll add interactions. Okay, so let's break it down. Oh, I should have some titles that says breakdown. Uh, can I add that real quick? Let's see here. It's going to be kind of janky, but it's okay. We live. It's okay. Look, at it says title text. <laughs> Let's see, uh, break down, step one of three, break down. All right, cool, no, bad, uh, let's see here, go there. Cool, something like that. Oh, let's make it a line left. Good deal. Oh, move it. Come on. I want to move it. Move it down here. 
Mm -mm. Come on. Why can't I move you? All right. Lay out. <laughs> I know this may be uh, slower than my previous tutorial, but again, I'm doing it live. I want to try something different this time. All right. Uh, let's see. Can I mess around with the height? Oh, I can. There we go. I'll push it down a bit. Something like that. Cool? Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I got everything? Cool. So, all right. So the breakdown. So what I want to do, uh, actually, so what we have is on the left, I really like how the logo is very small and it's just right here. Okay. Um, and we have the social media icons there rather than social media icons, like being somewhere in the bottom or the top right or in the very right. This one is on the left. So I kind of like that. That's different. So, uh, we can totally do that. Uh, do this whole bar right here using, um, uh, flex box. Uh, and then all this stuff right here. It just seems like a, a, a two col not really two column, just like one column right here and then a bunch of space for the photo and then another column here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this because this indicates right here to me it goes to the next page. But I don't think I'm going to have a next page. I'm just going to have like one page for myself. Okay. And um, well, it's the home page and then you're going to have um, a video page and then uh, a blog page but it's not gonna like what i feel like what's gonna happen is if you were to click this it like does some sort of swiping effect i don't think i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna leave this as a color bar it's not gonna link to anything it's just a color bar and it's gonna use my blue from uh my logo all right and then um yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a nav right here so i'm just gonna try to make it as like simple as possible okay uh, and manager contacts. Yeah, I don't have a manager <laughs> except my wife. No. Nah. And so maybe this could be like a contact to my email or something. Eh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do with this. Uh, all right. Real, okay. So that's about it. Uh, a lot of flex box going on and, oh, what really makes this page this design look really well is the photo obviously Keanu is the man he's awesome okay and so the the photo is what really makes this design pop out okay the layout's nice and clean and it's simple but it's the photo and so when I look at my photo right here it's just a still from one of my older videos I'm not really in love with the photo it's not really like that good and i know i can take a better one so tomorrow my wife and i are going to go downtown and take some headshots of myself and uh you know try to see if i can do something like this but i want to do it differently so uh, i've already loaded in a a photo that I got from Unsplash and I want to do this kind of look where I mean there's I, I've done some, my, my latest headshot is me looking at the camera and I feel like lots of headshots are just looking at the camera and I know this dribble shot right here has Keanu looking at the camera but I want to do something like this where you know what I just want to be happy and look past the camera I want to kind of maybe do something like one of these like Maybe do like one of these, like, yeah, you know, looking off into the distance uh, or, or doing the same thing as this one guy uh, does. So I'm going to use this photo as uh, my placeholder for now. And then, uh, yeah. All right. So that's the breakdown. Uh, let me see. Copy. Paste. New source. And we're going to call this step two, the build what you all been waiting for and let me know what you think about these streams i'm gonna try to stream um uh, i'm gonna try to stream these tutorials so it's easier for me to get them out uh faster 
so I don't have to edit them. And also, uh, you guys can join me live in the live chat room if you have any questions. Okay. Um, oh, we got Scotty's up in here. That photo of Keanu looks very manipulated or possibly a digital painting. Yeah, it could be. Um, but it really works for this design and what I'm going to try to go for. So let's get to it. So this is just a copy copy of my uh, live site. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete everything except for that background. I want that grid. That grid is still part of me. Okay. So I'm going to leave that as the body and yeah, solid color. Yeah, I made it a little bit brighter with that solid color. All right. So I'm going to use this dribble as my reference. Let me see. Can I let's go back here. I need a smaller version. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to flip back and forth with this one. So first thing we're going to do, let's start with the left nav. That's the simplest one. Okay. And I th think I have some icons for my social media. Yeah. I already have my icons. Cool. So I'm good there. Let's go right here. Um, right here. Let's go ahead and put, uh, let's call this left bar. Okay. And how to make the left bar go all the way to the left is position fixed. Uh, right there this is left and then after that we can size it uh instead of sizing it a certain width i like to use padding because when i put stuff in there i want the elements inside to push the width for me rather than me trying to figure out with um with a set uh pixel width okay uh, let's set the Z index to something crazy like a thousand just so I know it's on top of everything. Okay. And let's go ahead and set this to flex. Okay. Because I want this to be vertical. So I want all the child elements to be vertical. So one, two, three. And how I broke that down is you have one right here two this is this is grouped up as two and then three so i may have a share icon i may not i can have something down there maybe put an easter egg or something or i you click it and then it does something i don't know flips the whole website upside down i don't know <laughs> let's just keep going uh background let's go ahead and take one of my colors that i already have uh, darker let's do this but a little bit darker like that Let's go 30 and see where life takes us. Okay, so let's go ahead and put my logo real quick. And my logo will be inside of link block. So let's do that. Uh, find the logo. There we go. Put that in there. Cool. Go back to my link block and we'll call this logo. And this is pulling from my old style. So let's just delete what I've had in the past. Delete that as well. Um, actually, let's make this with, I want to make it small. So we'll start 25 really. So, oh, well, actually, it's not too bad. Oh, and also update on my logo. Uh, my wife is interested in streaming too on her own YouTube channel. Um, and so what she's going to do for her first project is redesign my logo. I'm not in love with it. I don't know how to make logos, but my wife is totally badass when it comes to logos. And so I'm super excited to have her work on my logo. And because I, uh, passed a thousand subscribers, thank you all so much. I want to give away some shirts and after she's done with the logo, she's going to help me make some shirts that say make the web beautiful with my logo and the tagline. And I'm going to give some of those away. So yeah, that's going to be fun. So it's coming soon. I promised you guys on my Twitter uh, that I would be doing something special for you guys. And that's coming soon. So super excited. All right, let's get back to this. Uh, that's small enough. Let, that's cool. Let's go. I'm going to put a div block and this div block goes to the bottom. So I'm going to put another one, All right? So this one is in the center. We're going to call this social wrapper. Okay. This is going to hold all my social media icons and I'm going to set 
this to yeah does it have to be flex nah it doesn't have to be flex because each one's going to be display inline so i mean display block so i'm going to put a link block there and um actually can i copy let's see here where's my social media icons oh they're right here so let me just copy these right here sidebar bottom social link yeah let me just copy these because those are my icons delete that paste it here all right so social wrapper sidebar i'm gonna delete this class there we go okay let's go ahead and undo a lot of things let's remove the page load stuff the button hovers we don't need any of this interaction stuff happening because i'm starting from scratch all right and i think there's elements inside of each social link yeah there is all right so let's remove that 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 okay i have my icons okay one more thing get get them out of that div block don't need that and this social link right here why is that one? Oh, social link last all right so remove class i think all the social links it doesn't need doesn't need that uh they're they should all be display blocked so they're on their own row they don't need a set height uh they don't need that they don't need that making it very simple they don't need that and they don't need to yeah they could be centered but this is not being centered because yeah i could do it like that okay but these and the reason why these are all being pushed is because a uh, webflow temporarily puts a width of 75 by 75 or i mean a width of 75 and a height of 75 until you preview and then it collapses to zero zero because there's nothing inside of it okay all right so we'll just leave that there all right, so these icons, let's make them bigger. Ugh, too big? Hold on. Actually, no, they're small. Something like that. Okay, and let's let's get the social link and make them bigger. So I don't need this or this or this, but I can push them out like this. Let's say by 15. And we can make them um, uh, remove the, is the color changes okay the color does change all right so the color I'm guessing should be main font but kind of kind of gone like that okay but when you hover they turn white so should it stay white eh, let's try let's try this let's try this white smoke but bring it down like this there we go okay and then when I hover they turn white with opacity of a hundred percent cool wait does this happen yeah okay cool if I preview nice okay cool I think we're done with the left nav I could do something else with the bottom left but I want to keep going okay so next let's go ahead and put a spot for the big picture there we'll just call this um i'll just call it main it's the main thing yeah uh position fixed with 100 vw height 100 vh and uh yeah cool let's make the let's put a picture and again this is just a placeholder this is not me believe it or not <laughs> let's just go like, okay that's too big contain yeah we'll use contain for now no repeat and we'll just pretend this stretches the full width you know and then um it'll work hold on real quick gotta check up on something Da, 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 da. Uh, 
Where are you at? I'll make sure that I'm not missing it. Stop. Okay, cool. Right there. Okay. So we have that going on, right? And we're going to pretend that the te uh, that the photo stretches all the way. Next, let's go ahead and get this part going. Okay, so this is a very simple build. Again, it's the photo that makes it. It's not really the, um, the layout. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's get this stuff. So that stuff I want to take from my home page. Uh, let me go back to my home, my live site real quick. So I can just copy paste. Okay. So what I want to do is that's my, that's my thing. That's my mission. So I'm, but I want to just break it down even further. I'm wondering if I should, but like have some sort of information here. So let's go ahead and Oops, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I don't know why he put homepage right here. I know we're on the homepage. If you land, if you like go to KeanuReeves.com or something like that, pretend this is his actual site. This We know this is a homepage, so I'm not sure if we really need that. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna put my name like this. Um, I'm just gonna put my name right here and then my like my my mission statement or whatever would be like this big because that's what I like to put out first I don't want people to know my name first I want people to know my name second I want them to know my mission first so my mission is this but is this too much text for this area we'll see um and maybe I can put uh Maybe I don't need this information anymore. I can just put my name probably here. Yeah, let's do some. Um, I guess we can use this position fix, position absolute or something. Let's try it. We'll set the left margin to be something like, um, you know, not margin. We'll use this right here. On the position so let's go 15 VW let's try right there and then here we'll just do we'll use straight pixels like 300 pixels oh okay no go back up okay we can mess around with this spacing as much as we want later all right let's go ahead and put the text um, I'm guessing the H1 should be my name, right? So, this Junior. All right. And this is just not all H1s. This should be HP H1. I like to call it HP for homepage. All right. Let's make it light. Uh, use this white smoke. Make it small. 15 yeah, yeah 14 all right cool and then 21 I like to go up by six or seven so on the line height so whatever the text size is plus six I think I learned that from a previous um, uh, a previous coworker hmm How's that letter spacing? Should I do it like that? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's see here. Maybe the div should be higher. Yeah, so it's in line with my logo. That that would make sense. You know, totally makes sense. All right, go back here. Um, maybe this should be lighter. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's keep going. Next one is this right here. So I'm guessing that should have. What should it have? Oh, I just noticed I repeat this information. <laughs> That's not cool, but 
Well, I just noticed that. Uh, let's put some. Yeah, maybe I can put my residence. I mean, it's not it's public information, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's put text and um, residence. I can't read it. Right. And yeah, I'm gonna rename all these. Um, rename these uh, classes that I'm letting Webflow auto name. Light smoke save. Cool. So this one I want white smoke, but a little bit lighter because of type hierarchy, right? So if that's 75, I want this to be 42. There we go. I'm guessing that one other is bold. No, it's not bold. So I'm just going to push this up a little bit more. Something like that. 79. Cool. All right. Hey, Zappaloid, what is up? Thanks for joining me tonight or morning, wherever you are. So residence Hollywood. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I'm, I think this is, eh, yeah, that's fine. Well, let's push this away from the H1. Right there. Let's do it like that. Okay. And the next thing is age. Uh, huh, they say his name twice. So I'm not sure why this designer decided to put his full name and his birthday, age, and his birthplace, and then his full name. I guess he was just trying to look for something to do. But I think I'm just going to end it with these two things. Uh, or maybe I should put web design. Uh, let's see here. Web. I should just my titles. Web designer. Speaker. Can I call myself a YouTuber, or is that cliched now? Here's a placeholder portrait so you can fill the background. Ooh, yeah. Give me a link, Scotty. Speaker. Nerd. Or geek. We'll do something like that. For now. I don't know. But let's just go into putting my my thing. So right there. Uh let's go. Oops. Let's go put text and then we'll just call this one mission. And then we'll name this one like HP info. Actually this one should be HP mission. HP info, HP H1. Okay, cool. HP mission. And what did I sp actually? This one should space out even further, so it can go like that. And I'm guessing instead of using pixels, I should use VH. But we'll get there. We will get there. Okay. So HP mission, you're gonna be using my blue, or should it be orange? Vote now in the live chat room. Um, there you go. Or should I just stick with blue? Hmm. This is gonna be oof. Black is not cool. Bold. All right. Um. So this one is going to let's make it big. I'm gonna make sure it's two lines, so something like this. There we go. Fits perfectly. Okay, so I need to make this responsive because uh, I want to make sure that it sticks to the two lines. What I can do is 50 VW and then 50 VW and then just work my way down. How come I don't see it? There it goes. Okay, so I'm guessing a max width of uh, 50 VW. There we go. Yep. So VW means viewport width. Okay, so watch what happens. Okay, when I... Oh, I can't do it here. Can I? Okay, watch what happens with the text. 
it's responsive okay so it shrinks and grows with the canvas because it's basing uh it's basing the line height the font size and the max width to the the browser's width okay so if you want to keep something locked okay if you want to keep something locked to that break you know when you want to do a line break uh you can put two text um two text blocks uh one on top of each other or you can lock it like this and so whichever device size screen size or whatever it'll always be locked to this because you're using vw uh and i think i can go bigger because this doesn't really have that same feel as this or maybe the feel is because this is sans serif never thought of that am i using a different font for my blog i don't even know no not you because if i'm not then bad bad on me Ooh, i just ruined a lot of things uh main wrapper what's causing this big blue i don't know but you know what let's just i can change the font later and this is probably going to be a two-parter am i using Montserrat? well Montserrat isn't huh that change look at he's happy in that in that serif font really changed the the feel rather than my what am i using rubik Merriweather? Let me know what font I should be using. Or if I should go to Google Fonts and find something different. But, again, yeah, this is one of the things. Um, as a web designer first, not a graphic designer, this is where I lack. Uh, one of the things I lack, which is um, typography. And, you know, that's a basic, basic knowledge for um, for a graphic, a tradi traditionally trained graphic designer I'm gonna go with that one because that feels good and maybe I can go bigger so seven or six and then let's fix that to be hmm okay so if I do it like this will I have enough space for this side I think not so let's make it five I think five is good or 4.5 yes you can use decimals in your VW's yeah that doesn't seem big enough now should it be three lines or I can do what I'm doing right here, which is um, one line is different than the other. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try that. Let's make this line disappear. And we'll go like that. Okay, so this one right here line two and this is going to have zero and this one is going to say oh i didn't copy it hey paste on an endless journey two okay cool and so this hp mission line one will be like that we're gonna push it back just a bit so it's different and we'll push it back even more by making it a little bit smaller by one okay and then let's go ahead and push this down to the max width of that of that text box and this one right here let's go ahead and set that one I want to make that big Okay, so I'm not used to big fonts, and so this is already making me feel uncomfortable, but, you know, the only way 
to get better at something is to feel uncomfortable and learn from it, right? So let's go. Um, now I'm just riffing here, but I'm thinking it's working because it's supposed to look like some sort of, um, I'm guess you know, a magazine. Cause this looks like a magazine cover, you know, but it's just wide for a computer screen. Okay. So I, I'm going beyond my, um, going beyond what I'm very comfortable doing. So let's go. So this descender right here with the G is hitting the, there's a name for this dot for inspire. I don't know. Is that cool? Should that happen in the design world? Uh, let's see here. 7.75. 7.75. Yeah? Alright. Let's just do it. Okay. And this one right here. Unless this should be... Eh, this one... Maybe this could be light. Yeah. Let's make it light. Let's make it light right there. Cool. So this text gets lost though. So maybe I should just keep it blue like that. Okay, well, we'll see whatever the photo that my wife takes of me tomorrow and see how it places it in. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. Let's go ahead and push these up. like Something like this. And then this one right here, we're going to push it down. Okay, cool. I should be using VH. So 10 VH. VH is viewport height. So something like this. So if I press publish and just look at what's going to look like right now. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I have nope. Watch what happens. See how the margin at the top is getting smaller, but, but these aren't, so maybe I should do VH on the other ones too. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go five VH and something like that. Cool. Okay. So well, that one's done really interested how this is going to play out with the text overlaying on my headshot i may have to make this smaller but um yeah i want to keep it big but maybe it's too big you know now i'm like second guessing myself All right, and then this one, we can push it down more. Should it be three lines? But that rag looks weird. If you don't know what a rag is, it's something, again, I learned from my wife, is uh, you know, at the end of a box of text, and it goes like this, you know, that's your rag. Like the, I'm guessing like a rag, like a, like a flag or something, you know, that's all tattered up at the end. And so you want to have a good rag, you know, make it smooth rather than kind of jagged. So that's what's stopping me right now. Like this rag is nice. You know, it, it feels nice. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let's see, 6.5, 6.25. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to just be done with it right there. <laughs> All right. Let's push it down more. So it's kind of like that. Yeah, that's good. Let's move on. Next thing. Let's go to the right. So this is going to be a collection. Okay. This is going to be a collection list because I wanted to pull my latest YouTube video information. So let's go ahead and do that. Drag in another div block. Um, does it have to, it doesn't have to be in main let's drag that out right there let's call this uh hp column one and this one will be hp column two cool now let's go ahead and position absolute let's start from the right 
And where are you? Where are you? Hello? Mueller? Oh. <laughs> Mueller? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put some stuff in there. Oh, uh, what do I want to put? Okay, let's put a... Uh, let's put a collection list right there. Okay. So it's inside of there. We're going to pull from my... Is it vlogs or videos? Vlogs. It has to be vlog. Okay. So I'm pulling from my vlog. And now I only want to get one item. And the sort order is going to be published on newest to oldest. Okay. So I have my... Um, I have my latest video right here. Okay. And now that I have my uh, latest video, I can start uh, designing it. So the first thing I want to do is put the name of it. So I'm going to put a text block and pull from the name of the video. And just to make it easier for myself, everything in here for HP column 2, let's just start it as white. All the text is going to... Hey. All the text is going to be white. There we go. That's not, that's not the first one. Fake it till you become it. That's the last one. All right, let's fix this. Published on newest to oldest. Maybe created on? There we go. Oh, building something cool. Oop, I got to delete that. Let's go to vlogs. Oops. This is <laughs> this is already pulling this one. Let me delete real quick. Should designers speak? Yes, they should. So that's my latest vlog right there. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead. So I have that text block. Let's put in another text block. And this one will be paragraph. Whoa. And this will be description. Oh, I got to clean that up. <laughs> And then also, uh, let's see here. So we have title, description, and then a link to watch the video. So let's go ahead and put a button. And this will go to, should it go? Uh, yeah, it'll go to my YouTube page for now. So this one will get URL, video URL, open up in a new tab. And yeah, that's about it. All right, cool. So let's start styling because it looks very messy. Um, let's go ahead and set the max width of this column to something like 30% of the of its parent, which is the body. Okay, we'll go 20%, see if that works. All right, and video title. I already have some styles with it, so let's go ahead and delete those styles for now. Uh, let's go ahead and make this bold. Okay, that's my title. Um, Faris, hi. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's go to the paragraph. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's make that smaller and then the type hierarchy. So this one's bold and this one's not. So let's go ahead and call this video description. Okay, seems like I already have it. Oh, sweet. That's kind of what I wanted. Okay, it's just that the video descriptions I need to make smaller. Like, like really smaller. Because this is the default stuff I put whenever I upload a YouTube video. That's not much of a description, but we'll have it for now. Ah. Okay, so this is in line with this. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and HP column. What did I do here? I pushed it down by 32 pixels. So let's do the same thing with that. Could push it down by 32, and I'm there. Okay, something else looks different to me. Not sure what. Hmm. Let's go ahead and push this down a bit. Okay. Um. Do I want to use 
VW or VH. So 30 VH. All right, that's viewport height again. So this thing like this. Let's add some padding. Just always have padding. It's disgusting if you don't. Mm, yeah, let's go on that side. Let's just do it on the side. Right there. Something like that. And max width. Yeah. Keep on 20, 18. 18. I'll go 20, but like we'll keep going with this. So let's go with percentages. So you always want to use percentages, VWs, or VHs because when it comes to the time to start making everything fluid, making everything work for uh, tablet, mobile portrait, mobile landscape, when you use fluid units, it makes it more easier because you're also designing for anything that's in between each breakpoint because you can't make a breakpoint for each and every device out there in the world. That's not going to happen. So using fluid things like the, these units makes it easier. Okay. And so at, at, instead of using pixels, I'm going to use like 30 VW. And then just work my way backwards, uh, something like this. Cool. And then max would be 20. So I think this would be good. So if I go like this, you no, know, should be fine. Okay. Should make my life easier down the road because I won't have to do much tweaking when I have these fluid units. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and this one is watch video. And do I have a play button? Uh, let's just get this same icon. Uh, actually, let me just copy this, that glyph. And actually, let's delete this real quick. I'm going to make my own button. That way I can have. Oh, wait, can I? Hold on. Oh, I can span it. All right, cool. Wrap with the span. Call it icon. Call it a day. I'm going to span this to oh. span this and call it button label. Okay, seems like I have some oh. interesting. There it goes. There we go and for you, sir. Wait, can I make this flex? I can. Oh, I wanted to center that. It doesn't work. And how come there's so much space on that side? Duh. Okay, no, that doesn't work. All right. So for this, I'm just gonna call it um, button icon. That way I can. Let's see, push this there. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. What happened? Button icon. Let me delete that. Oh, it's because it has to be display inline. Let's try it again. That doesn't work. No, I don't want that. I want to make this line up. Okay, I'm guessing it's the line height. It's not the line. What is it? So I'm gonna delete this. That's right here. Let's try it with this. It's not moving. Okay, so I'm gonna back up and just delete that whole thing and just make the button from scratch using a link block. Uh, and let's just call this home page button. And this is going to be center and center. So I can have a text right here. We're going to call this watch video. And then we'll also copy this glyph again. Actually, no, let's just copy the icon. Oh, copy the icon. There we go. Cool. All right. Button label. I've already go delete that real quick 
this one right here is fine all right so this one hp button let's remove that underline that an also that annoying blue color got to go okay don't want red want white let's go ahead and put some padding okay what did they what does kiana have okay so there's a lot of space and you put the play button first maybe i should put the play button first okay let me put the play button first there we go button label delete there add eight here good to go all right see how it's not vertically aligned this is annoying me that has to oh i think that's it right there uh, I, uh, okay i think that's it all right let's keep going all right, so this has some sort of line. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and make the color too. Like that. Uh, whoops. Okay. I think I need to just, there. I have opacity right here to 50, but maybe I should just make it come out like that. And same thing on the Yeah, what do you think? Do I need to? Yeah, it's just a straight. Uh, unless I do border radius 2. Yeah, border radius 2 should be fine. Okay, and let's do some hover effect. Now, here's the thing about dribble shots. They look super pretty. But they're not interactive. They're not real. And that's why I like to... Um, see if I can recreate dribble shots inside of Webflow because it's a good start, but what does it actually feel like when you interact with it? Because graph design is all about like, you print it and it's done, okay? Packaging design is you print it, it's done, but people get to feel the actual like, like, <laughs> Like people do unboxing videos, you know, that's part of package design. It's interactive. What does what you know, things do? But with web design, it's okay. You have this design. It can do animations. It can do hover effects. It can do click effects. If you click one thing, it can affect another thing on the page. So there's so many things you can do. And so with dribble shots, it's very static because it is static. So I have to figure out what is the, what was the designer trying to do? Or how can I just make my own version of it? And so that's what I'm going to do with this hover button. I mean, the hover effect on this button. Uh, let's see here. When I hover, let's go ahead and do it something like this. And then change the font to what? To this. I mean, white smoke or white? Let me go full white right there. Okay. And then, so what do you think? So, and I can add the transition later, but yeah, that comes out. I like it. Oh my god, it's not vertically aligned. It's making me mad. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, no, it's not. One. Okay, I hope that's vertically aligned. Eh? Okay, Scotty, they always look beautiful, but you hardly see sites that look like dribble shots. That's true. That's true. And a lot of people on dribble like to do like um, sliders for some reason. Sliders are really cool. And some of the stuff that uh, they design, they're using After Effects. And that's cool. And that's why I did that plate one. Because I was like, okay. I got to do this. I got to challenge myself and I was able to do it. So it's a great start, but what does it feel like inside of a mobile phone, a tablet or a desktop computer? You know, what does it feel like? And yeah, if you want to challenge yourself inside of Webflow, I suggest doing the same thing on Behance and Dribble. Just show what you can do for real, show real stuff. All right. So let's go ahead for DVH. No. Yeah, something like that. Okay, what was this one? 
What? Wait. There we go. 13 VH. All right. Let me get the. Let me delete that. Okay. Cool. That didn't push this down. That's weird. So I'm going to use 13 VH as well. I want to keep the spacing the same. Maybe this could be 15. This can be 15. I'll make it easier for myself. Let me delete that and this. And then this one will have 15 VH. So I only have to do it on one element rather than two. There we go. Cool, cool. Steven, hi Nelson. Really enjoyed the Webflow workshop today. Linking Zap Zapier to Webflow. I've been using that Google to link Google Calendar to Webflow and it works beautifully. Yay! Cool. Yeah, Zapier just opened up so many doors when um, our engineers linked Zapier into Web. Or I mean, Webflow into Zapier. I mean, it's in my opinion, it's very under. It's a very underrated. Uh, underused feature inside of Webflow, and mainly because it's a you need a third party account, and maybe if you do a lot of zaps or a lot of tasks, it's going to cost you some money. So I understand that part, but I really feel like there's so many more things you can do with it, especially that you can chain events together. Like, I don't know, what if I tweet out something, and it goes to my Webflow website, and also it turns on my light. At home for some reason like my backyard light i don't know <laughs> you know something crazy like that that would be fun but yeah so many things we can do now as design as designers it's it's so nice all right so this button where's it gonna link to it's gonna go to my video and open up a new url i think this is done is should this be that white though no it shouldn't all right let's push this back a bit uh, let's get the white smoke. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. I catch myself doing that a lot. I have to like, when I see a design and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it, I have to make some sort of awkward body shape. Like, uh. <laughs> so let me go something like that. And then this video description, I don't want it. Wait, why is this completely white? It shouldn't be, let's do, okay, I can't see. Okay, there we go. And let's just make this bigger. Yeah, it's bigger, and this one should be smaller. And let's not make it thin, let's just make it light. Uh... Let's make it normal. Wait, I'm using Montserrat here. Mm. Should I just let go of the Rubik? Or should I go with Montserrat? <sighs> Gosh, I really... I'm trying so hard to download all that traditional graphic design information from my wife's brain into mine if i can just matrix it like keanu <laughs> like that would be so awesome but okay let's just go back to rubik and see where life takes us yes right there okay that's not too bad that's not too bad that's rubik let's keep everything rubik for now what's this rubik okay cool all right and I can I can read it more. It's more legible. Uh, we'll keep that like that. Let's figure out this. I don't I don't know if I like. Yeah yeah. Hey, delete that one. Okay. All right. Um, let's push this away a bit. Should we use pixels? No, no, we shouldn't. Seven VW. Okay, so something like this. Cool. So that's not too bad. Oh, and I wanted to do that color bar because it makes it pop a bit. So yeah, we need to push this away. Let's just push it here for now, and then we'll re we'll reposition it later. Uh, yeah. So everything's good. Everything's good. Cool. Let's do our last thing. Let's put in a div block. Mm. 
mm, 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 mm. let me just kind of call it color bar so I'm not gonna put anything in it it's not gonna do anything color bar uh, fixed to the right to the right to the right uh, we'll say 10% Oof. Oof. Um, 5% 4 5 let's try 5 for now in Should it be smaller? Two point five. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Um, Scotty, if you're still there, uh, you said here's a placeholder portrait so you can fill the background. Um, if you have a URL to it, unless you're not allowed to put URLs. Let me see here. Uh, no, you have, you can put URLs into a uh, chat room. Okay. It won't let me send URLs. Um, tweet it at me at the pixel geek. Yeah. Oh, and I should have posted. Yeah. Let me. Do some self promotion real quick. What the? Do some self promotion real quick. Oh, pff. <laughs> I clicked on my own URL. I want to post it in the. I'm gonna put it in the Creative South. I hope it's okay with them. Uh, let's see here. Equipment, family talk, podcast, tips and tricks. Uh. Yeah, family. Am I allowed to put in family talk or? Maybe. Uh, streaming. Uh, build live. Live streaming. A uh, web will build. Ah, uh, whatever. Screw it. Keep going. Keep building. And Scotty. There we go. Thank you, Scotty. Let me see if I can push this over. Oh, cute dog. <laughs> All right, push this over over here. Boom. Cool. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and put down my desktop. Oh, wait. I can't just drag it. Uh, delete that. I have to press... Download for free. Cool. All right. Where's my this PC downloads? Oh, wait, the image is way too big. Okay. How do I even edit? Uh, I don't use windows much. Enhance. Enhance. No. Uh, adjust, adjust. How do you make it smaller? Oh, okay. I'm just going to use, uh, what you call it? Picresize.com. Because on PC I stream, but I work on a Mac. Uh, drag a photo. Okay, cool. Boom. Continue. Yeah, I have Photoshop on my Mac, not on my PC. <laughs> Resize. Okay. Uh, no, I want custom. I like to do twelve hundred. Uh, none. Save as quality best. Done. Cool. View image. Drag that to my. Downloads. Cool. And there we go. Let's change the image. Uh, main. Right here. Replace with Doge. 
cool. So, this gives it a better picture. Thank you so much, Scotty. This gives that ah, great, great choice because now I can see it more. Um, the problems I'm going to have. Huh. So when I look at this piano, it's dark on, um, you know, it's a dark photo. This one's a light photo. And so I'm going to have some issues. So if I were to put some sort of like solid color on top, maybe this will help but i want i'm probably gonna have to photoshop it or i can use gradient let's see here what if i use a radial gradient and set this to like um here but it's like that right let's flip that though so what if i do it like this and it's like light on my face but that's not me <laughs> Now you need a dog for your shoot tomorrow. I actually have a dog. <laughs> okay, so something like this, but not completely 100% black. So I may have to Photoshop it because like maybe I have to run a brush or something. Let's go close that. Maybe I have to run a brush on the side or something and not use a a perfect circle that CSS makes all right unless the photo you know I take tomorrow is is good you know that I don't have to actually brush but maybe we can do something like this and then <laughs> like X files <laughs> all right so maybe something like this we'll just go with this um maybe i can bring this in more that's looking pretty cool but let's play with the opacity something like that i think that'll work thank you scotty now i can visualize what i need to do i like this i like this so Again, it's the photo that makes this. It's totally a magazine. It's totally a magazine. <laughs> I mean, looking at the top right now, it's like, it's like, it feels sensationalist now. Like, should designers speak? F find out in page 24. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. All right. This column right here. Uh... Let's stop using straight pixels and use fluid units. This one, let's push it up a bit. Ugh. Okay, so what am I using here? I'm using 7VH, so this one should do the same thing. 7VH, there we go feel good about that. What do you guys think? Oh, actually, let me... One more thing. This background. You need to be... Oh, you are centered. Okay, so maybe... I should do top instead. Okay. Look at that! See, so this is the beauty of type. You know, when you start to understand type, that, like, letters are just shapes. Um, and when you put them together, they make bigger shapes. So look at his chin goes like this obviously and it follows this rag right here and I didn't even mean that <sighs> that's what I love about design you stumble upon little things and it, or little details and it's like oh that's so cool <laughs> okay all right I think we're done with uh, this I mean like I said it's super simple it's super simple and um it's it's it'll be night and day after i take my photo i mean it'll be night and day like this to me is basic this is basic all right but you go here and this is just like whoa okay um okay now i'm gonna look at it from a ux point of view so what i always say on my streams and on my videos is when you come to portfolio site who are you 
uh, what is your, what is your, like, what is your story and where do I find more information, right? Um, who am I? It's right here. What is my story? Where do I find more information? Uh, I'm missing a nav. Okay. So I'm guessing I should put the nav somewhere and got it. That's what it's going to do. This color bar is going to be my nav. I figured it out. There it is. All right. But one more thing. This doesn't make any sense. All right. The reason why is because uh, these are all one thing, but they're so split apart that they're three different things. And here, these are three different things. Okay. Even though this is all information about me, it's like sub information about me. Where here, it's like, why are these split up? So I need to put a title and squish these in closer. So they look like they're a part of each other. Okay. So that feels more grouped. And so let's go ahead and let me put another text box on top. And this one's going to be called uh, latest to latest vlog. Uh, or tutorial. Because it's not just a vlog. It's I also do tutorials. So um, HP call to title. Something like that. All right. Uh, using Rubik, that's cool. Let's push it back a bit. Uh, since this is title, maybe I should use the blue, but push. No, we're not gonna push it back. Blue, and this one will be medium. No, it should be normal. Yeah, we'll cl stay on normal. And let's go ahead and put a line because it's a title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do. 10 pixel here, 10 pixel there, and in between, I'm going to put a line with 50% opacity, so it looks like this. There we go. I feel like these need to be grouped up a little bit closer, though. Okay. Three and three. Okay, yeah, I can see uh, it has like a diagonal, you know, it, it you, you, okay, let's, let, how do people look at websites? So they start for the top left and work their way to the right. Okay, so they go here, they see my name, they'll see the latest vlog tutorial, they go back to the, the top left, scan down, and then they'll see this. So that's how people usually look, but when you look at the type hierarchy, the first thing people are going to see is either this right here, my story, or my face, which I don't have this face, obviously, but it works really cleanly in this layout. <laughs> so people are going to see this, they're going to see the face, and they'll probably look at this. And when they get here, hopefully they'll sign a, uh, see a menu button right here, you know, so you have this diagonal thing going on. So start here, scan down, and then go up, and then maybe their eyes will go here. Okay, um, I think there's like free eye trackers or something like that, but yeah. Oh, I've been streaming for an hour and 18 minutes. All right. Um, let's, <laughs> let's end this for part one. Uh, part two, we'll keep going with, um, let's see here. Part two will be the, the hamburger menu, but I got to go to bed. This has been fun. I'm all excited and everything. Uh, again, thank you, Scotty, for for the placeholder photo. It was a good find, and it really works. In, um, in something something I can show my wife so she can understand what her husband doesn't really look like, <laughs> and but like how I should be posing and like how she should frame. There it is. How she should frame the shot. So. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to finish up on the nav bar, put my photo in there, and uh, make it responsive and call it a day. Uh, so, yeah, let me put a nav bar. 
real quick because it's hard to stop because Webflow is that fun. So let me real quick color bar right there and yeah, call it a day. All right. So I'm going to press publish. So it's all saved. Thank you so much for watching this um, tutorial, walkthrough, practice, whatever you want to call it. Um, and let me go here. Yeah. So if you like this video, please like it. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. I, I'm trying to live stream at least once a week um, on my personal channel. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. If you have any comments about this or want to learn something else, leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone who watched live. And if you're watching a recording, thank you to you uh, as well. And yeah, we'll end it here. I will see you next time. Peace out. I totally forgot my tagline. <laughs> this is my first time streaming, so I'm back. Okay. See, this is the power of editing. I would have edited it right here. But anyways, thank you so much. And don't forget to... <laughs> thank you so much. And as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.